Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. So today I have come on to film card three in the August 2021 class in the post. And that the class is featured around the Nature's Harvest Bundle. So this is the third card. Now this has got a few techniques in it. So we'll talk about them as we go along. I'm going to start off doing the middle panel first, which is embossed. So I'm going to be doing that before I get started. So anyway, thank you everyone for coming along to see what's going on here. So I am going to get my, lift this up. I do have a bit of a, sore shoulders so I thought I'd get this lifted up with two hands because once I'm sitting down the temptation is to lift it with one hand and I think I might have done myself an injury doing that. So I'm going to use the, I think it's time worn, time worn type set, I'll check that out, I really need to put one of my stickers on here to make it easier. So this does go with this bundle, it's a lovely embossing folder so it's just like it actually is like time worn type that is exactly what it is so i am going to do a bit of inking onto the embossing folder and i have this little panel here which is i think it's 8.7 by 13 centimeters that's going to be no that's not it is it here it is here <laughs> the little panel so it's going, it's that one there. So we'll, it's going to be going in there. But what I did to get the sort of coloured look on here was I did a bit of swiping onto my embossing folder. Now you'll never get the same twice. So you just, I'm doing it different to what I did the last time. I think I'll turn this round a top better. And then some pearl espresso. Well, stamp pads are not just for stamping with. I did sort of big random patches, but this time I'm trying some wee stripes. Watch, I'll probably mess up my card. But I have no idea how that will turn out, but it will turn out as something. <laughs> Maybe add just a bit more. I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm going to place my card, but I think that that will be fine. Close the ink for the moment because you know why. Okay, so then I'm going to just pop this. If I already managed to get a wee bit of ink on there, but that's okay because I'm going to put more on it. And you need. Your base plate, just move that along a wee bit and move the stamp out of the way and bring the machine in so that you can see what I'm up to. So I've got, oops, I've got the ink on the top here, the paper in the middle. Fold it over. Once I fold it over, I don't want to let it slip. I'm going to pop that on there, the grey plate over the top because this is a 3D folder and this is the plate you need for that. And I'm just going to pop my machine out of the way because it does take up and look my moved everything so let's see if we can straighten up again I shall not be able to see what I'm up to okay right so let's see what's happening here so 
So I've got a slightly different look because I've got the stripes, but I like I like what I've got. It's nice. Just just gives it a further antique look, more interest. I quite like that. What's happened there? As you can see, I was more heavy-handed the first time, and just so experiment, experiment with some old card first, and then that layers onto this piece of early espresso. So I do have some glue here. I'll just quickly do that, and then that's one element of the card together. that bit and then the base card again is Calypso Coral. I've just stuck with the same colours because that's what you'll have in your kits and I'm using this kind of texture stamp here which I didn't get out ready. I've got other things out ready but I didn't get that. But hey. So I'm just putting that on there and I want my Calypso Coral ink. And I'm just going to randomly, mostly around the edge because the middle's going to be covered. So it's just it's supposed to be random, but random's not as easy as you think. <laughs> Just gives a bit of texture. I think we'll just put a bit extra there. Okay, so that's that. That's that's the base card. Now we do have. You should have a piece of very vanilla for the inside, so we could pop that in now. Where's my stamp set? Again, you can decorate the inside if you want to. Personal choice. So you will have, those of you who bought the kit, you will have to cut down the very vanilla and the early espresso. So the measurements will be on the instructions I will be mailing a emailing a PDF to everybody but just to recoup that the very vanilla is 9.7 no that's lies it's 8.7 by 13 centimeters and the early espresso is 9.1 by 13.4 so and that's going to go on there. So let's just pop that together and then that will know that that base is done and then we'll do our topper. So lots of texture and interest in this card. And that's that. I just love this stamp set, it's really nice and I think it's going to be nice for autumn. So then I have used my layering circles dies and I've got a scallop layer. I think that's the largest scallop layer and then the one down for the very vanilla layer to make our topper. So what I'm going to do, I think this is going to use the early espresso. I'm going to pop the thank you on. Now the thank you is going at a jaunty angle near the edge. I 
and then I've got the flowers again I'm going to just stamp them in the early espresso so obviously they won't all fit on but I just think it all up because I don't know which bit will hang off and which won't so we'll just to feature this so we don't cover our sentiment over but just a wee posy of flowers like that got a wee bit there but that's okay right it's um, just a bit of another leaf it maybe should have had that so it wasn't on there but it's fine it's fine And then I'm just simply going to colour my flowers in with some blends which I haven't picked out so I'll do slightly different colours I think this time. It will bring this Calypso Coral in, the light Calypso Coral and then I think I think I'm going to have a go with pale papaya. I don't know, I just have a daft idea in my head, but we can try. And then I need some, then we'll just bring in cinnamon cider for our cones. So we'll just try in different colours, but they'll all blend in together because they're all autumn colours. So we'll see, I might change my mind, but oh, and I'll need a green. We'll need a green. Well, we'll just go with the light soft succulent. This, again, I'm not big on spending hours on colouring in because to be honest, the artists that stamping up have basically done it for us. So I'm just using my cinnamon cider. I think I picked, just picked the dark. I didn't pick two of them. You can, of course, but... The light and the shade are already done for us there, so let's not over overdo it. And then we'll pop our just colouring in the stems. Again, you might choose not to colour, you might choose to spend hours blending it's your card do it your way the ideas that I'm giving you in the kit are really just to get you started because sometimes when we buy a new bundle we don't we're like oh what we're going to do with this so just have my ideas to get you started. Hopefully you'll develop your own ideas as you go on then as well. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to go with the... Dark, uh, the what have I got? Dark Calypso Coral here. And just... Making it up as I go along here. But hey, that's okay. And then we'll just take the, I'll take the light pale papaya first and see how that works. Just blending, you know, going over where the colours meet and blending them in a bit. That's actually quite pretty. It's a bit different from the yellow. And then the same here. Let's put some bits, other bits of this. I'm just playing and you can too. Maybe this time we'll use the dark pale papaya. See how that goes. Maybe I was just a bit heavy handed there, went over the lines. 
Oh, I just realised I don't have any power to to my phone. I don't want it to run out, and I think it has, so stop. 